When I've come back, I've just noticed this marketplace has changed. I noticed a lot of properties have been withdrawn that I had for auction. I noticed I've got a lot of one bidder auctions and I've had a lot of properties sold prior. So the truth of the matter is that we're seeing a transition marketplace. Transition marketplaces are the most sensitive marketplaces because what you've got is you've got vendors who are actually expecting prices of properties that have sold in the last eight weeks but those values are no longer there. And that is why right now, every agent that is watching this has to be super, super fast and be getting in front of their vendors ASAP and basically having a dialogue and language um, to this effect. Let me run through some of the dialogue and language. Number one, um, if you've got properties that you've appraised that are sitting in your database, I recommend that you're on the phones ASAP, as I said in the video yesterday, and if you haven't watched it, watch it. My auction video at the end of the day, get on the phones, hi, it's Tom here. I'm letting you know that I just wanted to give you some feedback on what's happening in the market. You'd indicated to me that you potentially were gonna come in the market in September, October. I'm letting you know that what we're noticing is that the marketplace is changing and buyer urgency is going down. The amount of negative articles that are online and in the press in print is at its highest ever about real estate dropping and a price correction. What we're doing is actually recommending to all our vendors to bring forward their plans of putting their properties on the market because right now, as we have entered winter, there is a seasonable lower amount of listings on the market. We believe that you're gonna get a better result for the sale of your property if your property is on the market in isolation, not in competition. I believe, Mr. and Mrs. Vendor, that your best strategy for moving forward with your real estate transaction is to sell in winter and to buy in spring when there's a lot of properties because we believe that you'll be buying at a discount level. So you need to do that. You need to show leadership right now and get on the phones. That's the dialogue for prospective vendors. For those vendors that are currently on the market right now, currently on the market and you wanna get some price corrections, here's the dialogue. Mr. and Mrs. Vendor, at the moment, what we've seen is the marketplace has changed and there are about 15 properties selling a month. There are 50 that are staying on the market. You've got to make a decision. Are you going to be one of the 15 that moves on or are you going to be one of the 50 that helps the other 15 sell? So gang, please understand You've got to start having crucial conversations. You've got to start going ugly early. You've got to start telling people what they need to hear, not what they like to hear. Because if you don't, you're going to be stuck with listings that are unsold. And if you've got a listing on your books that does not get sold, it is not a listing. It's a liability. Listings are either assets or liabilities. Assets become a sale and a settlement. Listings that don't sell become a liability. Right now, you are the person that can change a property from being stuck to unstuck. And you, what you need to do is start having critical conversations with these vendors. Another piece of dialogue that I think you should be using with vendors when you're actually pricing property, even at a listing presentation, Mr. and Mrs. Vendor, I don't want you to have your property priced at a figure that you're on top of the market. I want you to be in the market. Remember that. I don't want you to be sitting on top of the market. I need you to be in the market because that's where the buyers are looking. They are looking in the market. And you need to actually start having what I call the buyer-seller meeting. And the buyer-seller meeting works this way. What you do is actually have um, your vendors, you've got the vendor hope to get price, you've got an expected price and a report back price. And what you've got to do is establish with your team what price will that property sell today and get on the phones and ring your vendors and say, hey, I've got a buyer, they've got 730,000 to spend, am I wasting my time bringing them around? Only one of three responses can be made to you by that vendor. Yes, you're wasting your time, Will they come up in price or bring them over? This is how you can work out 
who is actually motivated without asking them what their bottom line figure is. So gang, um, by the way, on Tuesday, all my real estate gym members, all my real estate gym members are getting a 7.30 to 8.30 session on the private Facebook page where I'm gonna run through all the scripts and dialogues that they need to have now for the next three months. So if you're a gym member and you're not on the private Facebook page, you need to apply tomorrow so we can get you approved. If you, if you aren't in the real estate gym, Susan has opened up the doors and if you go to the realestategym.com.au, you can join and you'll be getting what all my members are gonna get, which is a 30-day ARIC implementation plan. You'll also be getting um, a weekly Facebook video. You'll be joining us on the Tuesday Rant. And most importantly, you'll also be getting in three or four weeks um, the Gary V interview. To all my real estate gym members, guess what? You're all getting a video of me with each speaker, all speakers. I actually interviewed them and I asked them the hard questions. Not just what they wanted to say, I asked them real estate stuff on how they got there, what they did to get there. And that is gonna be released to all my real estate gym members. In addition, in addition to the fact that I know you all take shit fucking notes. You go to a conference and you take shit notes and sometimes you get slack and you do nothing about those notes. So what I'm gonna be doing for all my real estate gym members is giving you an implementation plan for Eric, including summaries of what uh, videos of me interviewing the speakers and how you will actually implement that into your business. Why? Because it's all about execution and I am into giving value to my gym members. Realestategym.com.au, we open the doors two times a year officially. I've opened it, go up there. By the way, it works out to being $10 per week and I'm gonna give everyone, everyone that joins a special nine week program, the A to Z in real estate. I'm gonna give everyone access to a seven day kickstart program. You're gonna have all the scripts and dialogues there in the gym. You're gonna have access to your own personal My Prospector. So that is yours, that is your name on there. It measures your own prospecting by the person that generates most amount of appointments wins in the end. So Susan's gonna have the link in the comments below. And gang, my final words are, um, stop looking for yourself. It's not about finding yourself. It's about recreating yourself. God bless.